Hey class, and welcome back uh, to Mr. Pool's Online Learning. All right, uh, today we're gonna talk about adjacent angles. And adjacent means next to, okay? So adjacent is next to. So if this angle right here is next to this obtuse angle, these angles are adjacent to each other, okay? So you might say, well, how can we figure out this angle if we know the adjacent angle? Okay, this is how you can figure it out. All right, so you know a straight angle. This straight angle right here is what? 180 degrees. From here to here is 180 degrees. So that means from here to here is 180 degrees. So if it's 60 degrees here, that would make this 180 minus 60, and that would give us this angle right here. Okay? So 180 minus 60 would be, this would be a 120 degree angle, okay? That's how you find adjacent angles, okay? Or if we did this, here's another example. So let's say this big angle is This big angle right here, this whole angle, equals, we'll say, 75 degrees. So this big angle is 75 degrees. So then if this angle right here, if this angle right here is 25, then how could we find what this angle is? Well, if this big angle is 75 and this smaller part is 25, then you could do this. You could do 75 minus 25 and that would equal 50. So this angle right here would be 50 degrees. So you take the big angle, subtract out this portion, pour it part of that angle, 25, and that would be 50 degrees left over. Okay, so that's adjacent, adjacent angles, finding adjacent angles, okay? That's how that's done. Now, over here is something we call a variable. Variables are things that, uh, change in a problem okay so the variable could change but you're still gonna complete the problem so you can do five plus blank is ten this is our variable right here this is our variable this is what we're looking for so a variable changes in the problem Okay, so that's a variable. All right, so what would the variable be in the first one? The variable would be right here, right? And sometimes we see it as a letter. Sometimes they show it as like an N or a K. Okay, so they'll say five plus N equals 10. So what is N? So N equals what? 5 plus what equals 10? Well, in this one, the variable is 5, isn't it? Okay, how about the K down here? 7 plus K equals 10. K equals to 3 then. That's the variable, OK? 
okay? And that's how you do variables in math, okay? They're pr pretty easy. I, I, I did some easy examples and I can make them harder, but uh, I just wanna get, uh, have you to understand what a variable is. A variable is something in the problem that changes, okay? So this changed, changed from five to a three. Okay. All right. Have fun learning, guys. Bye. I'm glad you stuck around for my lesson for adjacent and variables.